Drip irrigation is an efficient system for applying water to nursery container production and has the potential to outperform overhead irrigation systems in achieving optimum plant growth and quality while minimising water use. A well-designed and correctly installed drip irrigation system provides excellent application uniformity across the whole production area and has the following advantages. Many drip irrigation systems installed in container production nurseries were designed and set up based on information from in-ground production. Because of their high application rate, these systems cause channeling of the water through the growing media before it is wetted completely. The high flow rates of these systems also increase infrastructure and pumping costs. Research has shown that a mean application rate of between 15 and 25 millimetres an hour is the maximum rate irrigation should be applied to premium quality growing media. To ensure continued efficient operation, a full elemental laboratory test of the irrigation water should be conducted and filtration and treatment systems installed to minimise problems caused by water quality. Drip irrigation systems consist of four components. A pressure compensating non-leak dripper, a manifold, three millimetre spaghetti tube, and arrows. Pressure compensating drippers maintain the same output across varying pressures, minimising flow variations across the irrigated area. Non-leak drippers close at low pressure, preventing the lateral from draining and allowing the drippers to start and stop simultaneously as required. Pressure regulating valves can be added to the system to maintain operating pressures within the range suitable for the drippers. To reduce the dripper flow rate, to match the growing media absorption rate, a manifold can be attached to increase the number of outlets on each dripper. Manifolds can also be piggybacked to produce a suitable flow rate at the container. An arrow is a system component that is placed into the growing container, allowing the water to be directed to the growing media and assist in regulating the flow. To achieve maximum uniformity, the correct arrow must be matched to the dripper. The dripper or manifold is connected to the arrows by a length of 3mm tubing. Multiple arrows from a manifolded dripper must be connected by 3mm tubing that measures the same length for each piece of tube. In larger containers, multiple arrows are required in each container to achieve more uniform distribution of water through the growing media. The growing media can be adjusted to assist in the absorption of water by adding amendments such as coir fibre or a wetting agent to the growing media. Drip irrigation installed to industry best practice applies water as a drip directly to the growing media with pressure compensating non-leak emitters which have flow rates ranging between 2 to 12 litres per hour and application rates to the container of between 15 and 25 millimetres per hour. A 2 litre per hour dripper located in a 200 millimetre container would provide an application rate of 60 millimetres per hour. By using a four-way manifold on each dripper with one arrow located in each 200 millimetre container the application rate would reduce to an acceptable 15 millimetres per hour. The Nursery and Garden Industry Queensland has developed a dripper and spray stake assessment tool to evaluate the container size and growing media and provide a guide to the dripper flow requirements and the number of arrows that may be required in each container. Contact the Nursery and Garden Industry Queensland for further information. Scheduling can be used to manage the higher mean application rates of drip irrigation systems by using pulse irrigation. Pulse irrigation is the process of applying several short irrigation periods broken up by periods of non-irrigation. For example, one minute on, five minutes off, one minute on, and so on. The entire drip irrigation system should be inspected regularly for any leaks, breakages, wet and dry areas, and the correct operating pressure. The filtration system should be thoroughly backwashed, laterals flushed and all leaks and breakages repaired. All nursery production staff should be provided with specific training in working with the drip irrigation system. Multi and single jet spray stakes spray water across the top of the container 
These emitters can't be successfully manifolded or pulsed and are not usually pressure compensated or non-leak, often leading to excessive application rates. For example, a 12 litre per hour spray stake in a 200 millimetre container would deliver an application rate of 400 millimetres per hour, far in excess of the target application rate of between 15 and 25 millimetres per hour. Further information on drip irrigation can be found in the text Managing Water in Plant Nurseries. This video has been supported by the Queensland Government Department of Natural Resources and Mines under the Rural Water Use Efficiency Irrigation Futures Initiative. Special thanks go to the following businesses for their assistance in producing this video.